Welcome to Parade, people. Volume two. Yep. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. <laughs> Harry, shut up. Listen, you ready? Look, 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 look. look. Yeah, just got a couple of questions for you today, just so that people out there can hear about what you're doing, what you've been up to, that sort of thing. So first of all, um, tell us what sort of projects you've got going on at the moment and anything you've got for future 2009. Well, we've got the Bar Rage 2, that's what's really popping off on street at the moment, myself and Fun, with DJ Magistrate, that's a big mix CD, you know, being 40 minutes long. You know what I mean? Just trying to raise the level of the lyrical thing in drum and bass. That's the thing we got out right now. That's the mix CD that's popping off. Um, yeah, Magic Bar Age, bangers. Bar Age Bar, 3. Bar Age 3 is on its, you know, scheduled to come out. Bar Age 3 will be featuring myself and Skibbity's like a little project. I'm kind of bouncing off, just trying to showcase basically what it, what it stands for. Bar Rage, you know, people just spitting bars. It's mainly about the, the lyrics. I mean, like I said, the one that's out on the road right now that's popping off is Bar Age Volume 2 with me and Harry Shaw, a.k.a. the Splinter Cell. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's, 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 that's getting mad, mad heat right now. I mean, it's bounced off nicely off Bar Age 1. You get with that was with DJ Rough stuff, you know, we got Magistrate on two. Yeah. Um, and then we got some we got some big projects coming up. I mean we've got albums, the Unks album. We've got the Uncontrollables album, which is featuring production from a lot of big producers in the game. That's me, you know, I mean it's gonna have some drum and bass flavours on there. Cool. Also reckon the grime thing, dubstep thing, some hip-hop flavours. I mean that's quite diverse musically. I mean Skibs has got his album popping off, so yeah. there's a lot of album tool. And we've got the video as well about to jump off, which yeah. by the time you see this, it should be out there, channel you, YouTube. That's the, unks, that's the Unks anthem. That's the Unks anthem. What sort of advice would you give to any upcoming artists with an MC, DJ, producer? You want me to do this one? Go on, son. Go on, son. Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> no. Boy! I mean, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I do workshops, me and Shot do workshops and we teach, we teach cats how to MC, it's nothing long, but, you know, if you want to be an MC in this game, first of all, you have to have confidence, you know what I'm saying, you have to have confidence and, and respect for the business, you know, you have to do your homework, your history, don't, don't write something and think that you're the first to write it, you know, check who's out there doing things, because you might be biting and not even realise doing it, be original, you know what I'm saying, try and find new flows, you know, I don't know, it's hard, just longevity, you know, yeah, patience, you know, it's loads of that, respect yeah, to the music, shots, any, anything for them? But, well, boy, I mean, I came in from the hip-hop side of things to the drum and bass. We both all, did, all, all still, we both funded did. Back yeah, in the maybe as well. you can tell us a bit about that, how you've kind of gone through well, the... Boy, you know I mean, I was doing my thing on the hip-hop scene, things was good, but the thing with the hip-hop thing over here, I mean, I kind of reached the pinnacle of where I could get to, you know, with everyone backing me, one extra choice FM, everyone was backing, man, and it was a good situation, but because it's an American art form, it's hard to really take it beyond a certain stage. Now it just so happens that me and Fun did a hip hop track because we go back making hip hop before the drum and bass like seventeen invented. Invented. So we cut together like, you know what I mean, went to the studio with the structure, made a tune called Game On. And you know what I mean, basically Fun said you should come up to uh, Syndicate FM with me, do a little drum and bass set. Now I just went up there, I had a few double time bars I was using on hip hop from tracks with Skibbity and I'm a wicked reaction from the show, the carnival, yep. and it all kind of snowballed from there. That's how I got into the drum and bass thing and I was just overwhelmed. By the, by the reaction of people to the MC thing in drum and bass compared to in hip hop, whereas in drum and bass, you go on the forums, on the websites, they're all talking about fun, X Man, Skibbity, blah, blah, blah. In hip hop, they're still talking about Tupac and Biggie. So I was just overwhelmed with the response to sort of the whole MC inside of things in drum and bass. And I just, like you said, I worked hard, did the research, respect the music, got loads of pointers from fun. Fun took me aside, taught me a load of things about technically about spitting in drum and bass and stuff like that. So, you know, that was, that's how I kind of made my thing into drum and bass from the hip hop anyway. You know, uncontrollable. Yeah. Uncontrollable. Yeah. That's what it is. And what sort of things inspire you when you're writing bars and lyrics? What sort of things come into life? Loads, I mean, loads of things inspire you to write, you know. You, you could be, you know, without being crude, you could be on the toilet, you know, and, and, and the shampoo bottle drops and it makes a sound and you think, oh, that, that rhymes with patwang. And you want to rhyme with patwang. You know, I mean, that's what we do anyway. Young yeah. control. I did it there. I'm inspired by life. I'm inspired by experiences. All sorts of life, really. But, you know, my man them, shut up, skibbity, they inspire me to write, to be honest, you know what I mean? I, I myself inspire myself to write, do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, back in the day, I would have said a load of hip-hop, man, but 
now, working with that fun and Tiffany, that's really my ego. That's like, bro, that man will come with a little concept, we bounce off that. I might come with like, fun, might bounce off with loads of things, you know what I'm saying? We all bounce off that. It's the energy within the circle that kind of keeps the ego moving right now. It's not really about looking overseas. Or there's people in the scene I respect, or it's about like I see three shaman killing dancing, can learn off them bands when they're doing the dance. But really and truly, me personally, my inspiration comes from the man that's around with really fun and skimming. That's, that's the honest truth right now. Stuff. You know, we're not just in it for, for an attitude thing or a replica or status or, or just a piece. You get what I'm saying? We're actually trying to do something with this music and, and inspire other people's lives so that, you know, the mundaneness of the credit crunch and the rare tear tear, when you come to a club, you can forget about that and, 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 and know that there's people out there that are trying to be positive about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing. Too much gun clapping and shanking going on right now. It's about the party vibes. It's hard enough out here. You know what I'm saying? Well, thanks a lot guys. Yeah. It's the Uncontrollables fam. Check them out on the MySpace. Yeah. Forward slash Funster MC. Forward slash Harry Shot Shot. And of course the official MySpace for the Uncontrollables. Forward slash official Oh, Funst. UNCZ. Yeah. We got Ruffy and Skibbity as well, yeah? Yeah, man. It's so hard cool. Power. H-O-T. Naya. Lady Blazer! <laughs> Featuring Funster, Harry Shot The Splinter Cell. www.myspace.com forward slash Funster MC Alternatively, forward slash Harry Shot Watch out for the uncontrollables video forthcoming on Channel View Track your title, Unsampled